All right, we're gonna do some quick problems here. These should not be too difficult. The trickiest thing that you're gonna find, I think, with these types of problems is if you are rusty or concerned about Lewis structures, that could cause you to run into a few problems. We'll try and do a little bit of practice in class, but if you are unsure about the Lewis structure process, make sure you refresh your memories because there will be a couple in which you have to figure out how many single bonds or double bonds or triple bond bonds are involved. And if you can't draw your Lewis structures, it's a little more difficult to do. So we're gonna use the bond energies from the reference chart above slash below to estimate the enthalpy change for the following reaction. And then we wanna know, does that illustrate an endothermic or exothermic process? Okay, Lewis structures are pretty easy to draw for us uh, on this one. Uh, I will sketch out here my Lewis structure for hydrogen, uh, which is just a single bond because they each have one electron to share. Uh, chlorine, on the other hand, um, although it is also singly bonded to the other chlorine, will have several pairs of uh, unshared electrons around each of the chlorine atoms. And then we're making two moles, or I'll draw two molecules of the HCl gas here, um, where again, you should recognize that the chlorine will have several lone pairs of electrons that are unshared in its Lewis dot structure. Okay, now that said, we're thinking about in this problem, how much energy is going to have to be put in to break these bonds, and how much energy is going to be released when these bonds are formed. To figure that out, we're going to use the equation where the delta H of the reaction is equal to the sum of the enthalpy changes in, in the breaking of those reactant bonds minus the sum of the enthalpy change as the energy is released from the formation of those product bonds. And if we take a quick peek, it's simply a matter of looking at this bond energy chart, plugging it into the formula. The energy required to break that one HH bond or one mole of uh, hydrogen bonds is going to be 432 kilojoules of energy. We're gonna add to that the energy required to break one mole of those chlorine-chlorine single bonds, which is equal to 239 kilojoules. That sum is the sum of the energy that needs to go in to break those bonds. We're gonna subtract from that the energy released, rather, when those two HCl bonds are formed. So note it's gonna be two or two moles uh, times the 237 kilojoules that's released as that those bonds are formed. And a quick calculator time should end us up with a positive 197 kilojoule enthalpy change for this reaction, which implies that we are talking about an endothermic process. In other words, it takes more energy to break those bonds in the reactant um, molecules than is released in the formation of those new bonds in the product molecules. Woo!